G'day punters, hi car. Welcome to Tasmania, Hobart more particularly. Down the foreshore. Heading up to Mount Wellington to have a look. Here we are, peak Mount Wellington. So it's a pretty popular spot. Sorry about the shakes of the camera too. Um, just using the sun here, I left the GoPro back down um, at the motel. Some even might have picked up too that bloody hire car of ours. It's a Nissan little X Trail. Little struggle. Here you go, Hobart in front of us. Back out to the sea. Had some friends over here about two weeks ago and it was snowing up here. No snow at the moment. It's um, 17th of December, in case you wanted to know. Well, we've finally checked into our accommodation. It's uh, not too far off here, it's just on Collins Street, Mantra, for the night. Down at the waterfront. You'll have seen us um, up at Mount Wellington. From there, we went out to Huon Valley from Hobart to about 40 minutes I suppose went out to it was a green shed berries so raspberries, cherries things like that pretty cheap and then we went to Willie's Cidery had some lunch drop in there if you get the time and then we went to the Cascade Brewery the oldest brewery in um, Tasmania stayed there for one drink left now we're here. Been told by reception at Mantra that all the eateries are down this way, the waterfront, and probably around towards Salamander as well. Probably more on Salamander tomorrow when we go there. Tomorrow, Saturday. Lark's Distillery, hey mate. You know I don't usually bring you into these places. It's rare, rare. It's a $235 for the money they bring me up. <laughs> Jenny's complaining because she's not getting top shelf. <laughs> Damn straight. I've gone top Jenny's shelf. Jenny's complaining because she's not spending $235 on three half glasses of whiskey. 15 mil sips, three of them. Santa Claus is coming in too, by the way. I like the story, come here. Try one of their tasting paddles. Three different price ranges. Starts from about, I think it's 35 bucks for three tastings, 55 bucks for next tier up, three tastings. Oh, 235 bucks for their like really, um, really delicious whiskey. Welcome to Salamanca Market. We're here a bit early. Uh, it doesn't officially sort of open until 8.30. It's just after 8. Just going for a cruise. Scallop stick store. 12 bucks a stick of scallops. Tasmanian scallops, row one. We're just about the top of the markets now. The boss observed, and I think she's right. There's probably less, um, like hams, cold meats, food stalls here than the last time we we're here in the early 90s. Lots more, um, knickknack stores, lots of gin stores, one rum store that I've seen. Uh, when you're in Tasmania, you got to try this scallop pie nine bucks here at Smithy's at the markets, they're curry ones too. We'll crack it open and have a look, eh? Yum. Pastry was pretty good. Mm, plenty of scallops in it. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, the boss has just got a crate. Mixed berry, looks like it's got chocolate on top, a bit of honey and some whipped cream. Maple syrup. Maple syrup, there you go. And some ginger juice. Popped into Mona. It's in a, a museum, I suppose you could say that. Mostly underground. Lots of core tin around here still. Cement truck on a trailer. Derwent River. There's a um, 
cellar door here restaurant accommodation it's another restaurant and cafe down that way that's where the car parks are too well oh, made it down to the basement level three So it's a water fountain that's um, dropping droplets uh, in style of words, I suppose. Well, what an interesting um, art display. A hole drilled through, called through sandstone comes out this way. I guess the title of that tunnel is yeah. What you're looking at down there is just a um Oil bath, really? Diesel oil. People aren't allowed to take stuff in. And it's all about the reflection. Not the smell. Just an overhead projector. Well, this is called the Wall of Vag. You can just use your own imagination. Just about back up to the top level again. At the top of this moment, there's a um, casual wine bar, live music today. That's where we are at the moment. It just about wrapped up for the day. Live music's gone. Um, wine bar here. They serve some foods like um, antipasta and stuff like that in there as well. Coffee, cart. There's a um, beer stall over here. And they're selling um, burgers and ice creams and all sorts of stuff over here. Live music stage. Pretty cool. Just check out the accommodation. They've got some accommodation here. I think it's about eight places you can stay, ranging from a thousand to two thousand bucks a night. One bedroom or two bedroom apartments includes breakfast, access to the museum, wine and beer tasting at the top there, but no lunch or dinner. Yeah, stop here in um, Hobart, just about come to an end. Just gonna go fill up the hire car, the little hex trail, and um, go over to Midway Tavern. Have dinner and catch our flight back to Adelaide. Walking down to have a look at the bridge across Midway Point and the road sign says caution road subject to sea spray. Um, doing a lot of work on the other side of the road and this path pretty rough. It's a beautiful afternoon in Hobart though. So there is a path down there but it's closed um, and this is obviously a cycle path. Um, I might walk a little way along. No diving or jumping. Actually really pleasant out here, a bit of a breeze. Apparently it was a very hot day here today, 